You see the you see the how the electricity they do the electricity the wires. But this wire. Hello guys, welcome to this YouTube channel. Uh, this is Emil from Korea. So if you are new to this YouTube channel, like this, subscribe and like it. Say hello. Nice. Sorry, sorry for that because there was a noise. So on my OP I was greeting you. Yeah. Yeah. I was telling you welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks. YouTube channel. Yes. And also my wife has a YouTube channel which is called uh five four. So today's video we are going to what do we call it? Slum. Yeah. There's a slum nearby here. We call it uh, Mukuru Kwa Jenga. Mm. And that's how that's where most of the time we buy some, some this gl yeah. green groceries. Yeah. Yeah. Like onion, tomatoes, potatoes, potatoes and all that. So we decided uh, let's go together and show you how it looks like. Yeah. So we are still in pipeline. This is a uh, most populated area. Uh, of all time yeah. here in Nairobi and also in Kenya mm -hmm. so we are coming from that area so we are going this way so my wife here always mm -hmm. buys some um, stuffs there yeah uh. because they are they are cheap they are always cheap yeah that side, food stuff there they are always cheap stuff. yeah cheap cheap places so join this video, kindly subscribe if you are new and also like this yeah. video. Watch till the end. I do really, really appreciate it. Yeah. This video is all about the lifestyle of the how people live in, uh, in Islam. And, and the cheaper the, the things are in the slums. Yes, and the cheaper, how cheaper and fresh, you know, they are fresh. Mm -hmm. How fresh things are at yeah. the, the slums. The slums. So join this video. Yes, and let's go. So the slum is on the other side. Uh, the other road. The other road. <laughs> the other road. So we are still in Poipra in Yukon City. But this is towards what we call Kuala. Kuala. You know Kuala? You're in Poipra you know Kuala. Yeah. I can see people, they are still constructing. Mm -hmm. yeah. this, this place has, has me. Yeah, the has shops. These shops were not here the other day. I wish I knew it. Oh, you could have come and rented one. Mm -hmm. I, I could have come to ask. Can you pass here? So you pass here. So now towards this area is uh, the slum is on this side. Yeah. And most of the people they live on uh, iron sheet houses. Yeah. A small house, a seagull. Most of them are seagulls, okay? yeah. But the state here is not that good because of the road, mm -hmm. the access road. Yeah. Uh, what we call about the you know they use latrine. Mm -hmm. Pitch latrine. Yeah. And those things, those Peter and Trin's water, that sewage, mm. they always come but, out. But the, the, estate, the pipeline estate is stretching on, the other, on this side. Eh? Yeah. You can see they have been constructing houses now and then. Yeah. So this slum, this slum is one of the famous slums the here in, Kenya, slums. in Nairobi. In Nairobi, Mokuru You know, Kwa we have Mokuru Kwa Chenga, we have Mokuru, Mokuru Kwa Ruben. Those are the famous we have, slums. We also have Kibira. So we pass this way. So most of the time the people live in three houses. Yeah. They are they are in Sichuan. 
Allowed three by three by three, three by three meters. Sometimes even the drainage, the drainage here is not that nice. Mm -hmm. See the how it looks like. Mm. The problem. The problem with drainage. Yeah. Like that. So this is deep inside the slab. Mm -hmm. I think I think in the future the government should do something. Mm -hmm. They are old and somewhere in this thing. Yeah, they, they need blocks. And this whole house will be now done again. Uh, do you know? Do you know that there are people who love to stay in these areas? Yeah, a lot. If you tell them to come to move from this area, hey. They, they will tell you I better stay here. Mm -hmm. So this is the state of uh, Mokuru, being a slum. Yeah. So my wife here comes a lot of time to come and uh, buy some buy some food stuff. Mm -hmm. Because one thing of the slum is that some food stuffs are are not that expensive, mm -hmm. comparing with the developed comparing, estates. Yeah. When they, they come to buy things here and then so come. So, this is how the inside looks like. You are saying? They come and sell double plates. Oh, double plates. So, yeah. Oh, okay. so they buy here yeah. and then they go to the estates and then they sell the double plates. Yeah. Oh, now I get it. So, you have heard people come and buy food stuff in this area. We go this way or this way? So let's let's go this way. Actually, this slum is very big. It stretches. Uh, it's among the it's among the biggest slums. By look, you can tell how people live. You can see the lifestyle. Yeah. You, know, you know the lifestyle is this. But, but some people, they prefer staying here rather than staying in Pipeline. See, yeah. there is some houses which are built, are built nicely, and they are cheap. You know? Oh, like this one here. Yeah. So this one is cheap. Because most of the time is die on seats. Yeah. You know, long a uh, long time ago, uh, I think it was 20, 2017, mm -hmm. I once stayed in Mukuru Karuga. I did you? Yes, I stayed there for like uh, five months. Five months? Yeah, five months there. Yeah. On the Iron Sheet House or on the Iron Sheet House. So, so you pay the bathroom, you go to go and have a shower. What? You pay, you pay the toilet. That is the life here. The waste is the waste at the road. I once stayed in Kijiji, in Kibera. You have ever stayed in Kibera? Rangata. Oh, Rangata? Yeah, even in Kibera. Oh, because Kibela, Kibela and Rangata, they are, they are neighbors. See the street how they look so. So you want to stay there? Mm-hmm. Oh. Before it was banned. So I think we have all stayed in slums. Yeah. But I, I was staying there when I was at school. In South, South. That's when I, I went there. So that when I realized there are, there are those people who does not want to come out of this slum. Yeah. Yeah. This is very easy. It's two, two, two tomatoes at five bucks. 
Imagine. Yeah. Now if you can see two tomatoes at five bob. Uh -huh. But when you go to estate, you'll find that. Uh, Those two five bob, they will become one five. Okay. For sure, this area is. This area food is very cheap. So you are saying you'll find that five, five onions, onions as ten bob. Ten bob. Yeah. But when you go to the other on the estates and all that, you find that it's one onion, five bob. Yeah. Yeah. And they have come here. They took those ones of five onions at ten bob. They come here. But the good thing is that they are fresh. Things here are very fresh. Yeah. Very very fresh. You cannot compare them with the estates. No. No. And also this area is very populated. Yeah. Thousands, hundreds of thousands of people mm -hmm. who live in this, uh, this, this area. area. Mm -hmm. It's called Mukuru, Mukuru Kwa Jenga. It's a slum. But they have been developing the... the you can see they have been developing with new houses. No, this, this one is the one this one here? Yeah. So you mean these uh, people have bought the houses? So this is the affordable houses? Who said so? He was studying there at the beginning. When? When was? I can't remember. I never knew. You never knew that? Never knew that. But I don't see the other ones. No, I doubt. I doubt this is the affordable housing. Uh, you know, hmm? you know, with, with those kind of mm, things. What? Because they in affordable houses. Uh, but there, there are places that he, he is constructing. There are places that he is constructing. So this is the life here at Mukulu. You know, long, a uh, long time ago, there was uh, this, this, these slums were very insecure. Mm -hmm. About the security-wise, there was a lot of crime. A lot of drug abuse, mm -hmm. a lot of many stuffs, but nowadays, nowadays things have changed. You know? People now they are not, we don't have a lot of crimes here. Mm -hmm. But long time ago there was a lot of crimes yeah. going on. Yeah, uh, so you could even, never come here alone. Even today you can't come, you can't come out on this place that rate. Oh, during oh during the night hours. Yeah. No, it's kind of scary. Hmm. Everything of you will go. Hmm. Hmm? Including the shoes. Hmm. <laughs> they will rob you the shoes. Including this thing. Where can this we go thing? next? This thing is you have so let us promote this man here. You may say much to promote the man. So there's a for 10 bob and for the 20 bob. I just need for. They are swearing. I feel. I buy one for Korean. And actually, it's very fresh. So let me take this one here. Let me continue with the vlogging.
So this is how people will puzzle here by selling things with cut. And they are very fresh. So this is a pineapple. The sun is the sun is very hot. The sun there. So that's why we have decided to take some. What do we call it? Pineapples. So let's go deep inside, eh? Some some bananas. You see some bananas, fresh one from the. But most of the th things here come from. Uh, Marigiti. They all come from countryside, eh? Mm -hmm. Village. Yeah. They are in the village, so people brought them. You see, uh, they transport them to yeah. these places. So you have said uh, a lot of people here they are wholesalers. And this year is called Oxford, it's a school. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even the school says for iron iron seats. That's why you see nowadays when, when schools are banned in Nairobi, they are banned very easily. Yeah, it's like this one can burn easily, very easily because mm -hmm. it has some woods and that. Yeah. And also you have another one here. Cool. So they, they they don't even have some praying clouds. So they come out of the roads yeah, to, pray. to pray. And here in town, school is like is like home. Is like yeah. It's not like the village in the village. You know, in the village you go for like a distance for you to. You realize that. In, in in the village you can't go to school and then come out if you are not going home for free. Uh, yeah, you know? that's for sure. I see people here in the village, they come out anytime they drink a student to go home. So here a student can decide, let me go home. Yeah. You see the, then he just steps out of the class and then he go home. Let me go home and take something. That's for sure. That's so another thing is the charge of health facility. Mm -hmm. Health facility here. It's not that. It's not that good. But we have several. I think we have several public schools here. Mm -hmm. hmm? Yeah. But on the other, the side of uh, going to get Kwajenga. Public school. Yeah, oh, where we have come from? Mm -hmm. oh. Another one. And it's so good. It's nice. And they don't, they don't look the the type of school uniform. Mm -hmm. They prefer if your child is running, you know. Oh. So not like other schools, they prefer so uniform. Okay. Hmm? Not right. They prefer. But there was a day they were demolishing houses here. Mm -hmm. Which side was they demolishing? This this is, oh, the other part. Which one? This one. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh. So they were demolishing on this area. Yeah. Oh, the one that was near the road. Huh? Because I can see that this one were not demolished. So guys, this is the state of Mokuru. Hmm. Just one pass here. So people stay, stay in this state. Uh, 
We call them a bati houses. See? The streets are like this one here. You can see the streets. Very narrow streets. But on the, on this side it's, uh, it's 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 called Imara. Imara Daima. Imara Daima. Yeah, Imara Daima. But what is this? A I think. School. Oh, this is a school, eh? Is it a public school or? Oh, it has a madrasa. Oh, so we have a Muslim school there. And actually, I can see the mosque over there. You can see the mosque. Eh? Yeah, they, oh, they have built it very nice. They've got two tapwa. So when you go on the other side, you see the, the station is different. We have nice houses. Permanent ones, eh? yeah. but here on the other side, it's totally different. So I think the during evening hours, these three stars are a lot of people. Yeah. Mm. So this is how people fetch water here. They use these containers to fetch water. And then take them from five. You know? Yeah, and then they store with small tanks yeah. in their houses. Mm -hmm. So this is the state of this lamb, eh? So guys, you can just comment there, tell us, how do you think about this lamb? Yeah, how do you think? See the how sewage? <laughs> how people stay here? Or how people live here in the slum? <laughs> this one? It's located where? <coughs> and students come from far, far. Oh, oh to, to go to that school? Yeah, oh. because it's so nice. They learn. Yeah. So it's a good uh, uh, school? Yeah. Oh, you mean this one here? Mm -hmm. oh, oh. It's called... What do you call it? It's called Siloam. Siloam School. Do you know the, that, that, that? So this is the real, the real deal, uh, the real life mm -hmm. of, uh, of slums here in Kenya. You can see how they have hung their clothes. So are you taking, why are you buying something? Yeah, I want to buy some. I mean, this one is so nice. Can I? Which one? So this is a drift. They are drift, uh, drift codes. You can see they are selling a 10 bob. Oh, you want to fight for Liam? Mm -hmm. So most of these places they sell drift clothes, so like this one here. They are second hand clothes.
so it, it, there is a lot of businesses here. Yeah. Mm. A lot of types, different types of businesses. They are very fresh. In a cup. In a cup, you are. They are very fresh. I have realized the owner of that uh, business is uh, disabled. Yeah. Sometimes it's very nice to promote something. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, things are very cheap. They are very cheap. Comparing with the. Uh, are we going this way? Yeah. Comparing with the other side. Things here are cheap. So we are buying this. What's the call? We call it Omena here. What is Omena in English? Uhuru. Yeah. In Aitangwa. Kisumu, Kisumu boys. <laughs> no, Mena in English is called finger. Yes. This is small fish. Zingin. Mm -hmm. They are called uh, finger. That's a local name. This is finger. This is a Tilapia and the big fish. Only the coca in a tilapia. You are not going to be I've never known. Tilapia without knowing you are seeing tilapia. I have never, I have never knew that. That is my, my first knowledge ever. Okay, thank you. So, ah. so then they, 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 they destroy a lot of trapias. Big, we could have a lot of big trapias. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what are you buying next? So this, this. These uh, small fishes, we eat them with ugar. Yeah. Yeah. We take them with ugar, and they are so sweet. They are very sweet. I like them when, when you fry them. For me. Hmm? Yes, I know how to cook. Eh? You know how. Now to you are sugar coating. Is this sugar coating or you are taking the no, real thing? You know how to <laughs> cook this thing. So this is the life of here. They beat when you cook them. Yeah. So I know I know the tingo. I know how to cook. So my wife is telling me when I cook this stuff here, it feels nice. It feels nice when I cook them. I eat a lot of ugari when I cook, but when I cook. So when I cook, it's more it's more sweet. But when I cook. You see the you what see the it? how the electricity they, they do the electricity the wires. But this wire, they are dangerous. They are very dangerous. Actually, they kill a lot of people. Uh -huh. Very very dangerous. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. So you see the cables that you are seeing here. This is electricity. They are electricity. Imagine, guys, this one. You see. On this side, it's very mean. Yeah. Compelling on the other side. Eh? So they, they use Seiko cables. Mm -hmm. Supply. Supply power. Yeah. 
Like this, you see this cable here? Yes. Okay. Very dangerous. You know, when I, when I was staying there, mm -hmm. the state here. Okay. It's a very hard state. So when I was staying uh, on that side, I was telling you, mm -hmm. there were a lot of people who were, uh, were being electrocuted what? because of that. Because of that thing. Those wires. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they are dangerous, those wires. Ah, they are very dangerous. You see, this, this has, thing, thing this has power, this wire you see here. <laughs> These wires, they have power, they have power. Huh? So how, this is how people stay. This cable here has, has a requisite. Even this one here. You know that, that graffiti of mine is still there. You see? Oh, it's still there. Yeah. Oh, there. there. Okay. Okay. That's why. The state of Mokuru. And actually, most of uh, most of slums here in Kenya, mm -hmm. they look like this. They are all similar. Yeah. Even, like, but in Kibla, mm -hmm. they use mud houses. Yeah. They use mud houses. It's not like this. Sheet. But now they are they are upgrading. Yeah, they are upgrading slowly by slowly. Yeah. They are doing I the think upgrade. They are removing those ones of mud houses and building the new ones. Yeah. So I think we will end this uh, video here. Yeah. So thank you very much for joining this channel. Mm -hmm. We really appreciate. We have really sweat because of the sun. The sun, the sun is so hot. 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 The sun is too hot outside. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. So this is paper also. Yeah. So thank you very much. And yeah. uh, we see you on the next one. Eh? Uh, bye bye. This video was about the life in Slam of Nairobi. Yeah. So see you on the next one. Bye. Say bye. bye, -bye. Tell them to subscribe. Subscribe. Your YouTube channel. And like. My YouTube channel is Chicks254. Yes, her YouTube channel is. Go and check Chicks254. Can you pronounce the 6254? S H I K S. Chicks. And then we add the code. 254. Yeah, two the, so, the Kenya code. Yeah. yeah. So bye bye guys. Bye bye. See you the next one. We love you. Bye.